before we start this video, be sure to like and subscribe because there's going to be more awesome videos coming your way and you're not going to want to miss out on the fun. Hey guys, so we're back at it again with another video. I know I've been, been here for the um, last few times recording a video. That is because I've been working on something that I'm going to be showing you guys very soon. It's super secret. It's a super secret project and you guys are going to love it. Um, that will be revealed very soon once it's all finished because I've been working behind the scenes on that. But today we're not at our mansion. We're in Boxburg, but not at our mansion. And you might ask, what are we doing then? Why we're not at our mansion? Well, we're going to be working on renovating this home, but on a budget. I've seen a lot of people do this type of video, but they haven't done, like, you know, a budget, a, a budget type house. It's still, like, it's, like, using a lot of the new items, but it comes out really expensive. And I feel like that the budget um, on most of these starter homes, like, starter homes... I feel like that this is very much outdated. There's been a lot of new items and stuff like that. Um, the outside, the structure, we're going to keep the structure the same. The structure is going to be the same, obviously. The floor plan, we're going to keep the floor plan the same, but we're just relatively going to fix it up and make it look more like, you know, a nice home that people would use as a starter home on Bloxburg, but still keeping it around on a budget. Because I feel like that $7,000, because right now, if we build a tier home, the home is just about $7,000. 543 and I feel like it needs to be a, a little bit more because I feel like the budget in Roblox has changed a lot of people join in here and they get whatever they get so I feel like now that we've seen the outside all around like we're gonna change the landscaping the trash bags and the mailbox is going to stay obviously because it's a budget home we don't want to spend too much the welcome mat I really like the welcome mat but the paths are going to change I do not like the paths. I the use of the floors are way better. Um, the inside retro style um, wallpaper. I feel like that's really cool. But we could change that up, obviously, if we need to. Um, the kitchen. The kitchen is really nice. We have a curtain in here, but I feel like that it could it, that it could change because we've had a few new kitchen kitchen items come in here, and I feel like oops, I turned off the light. Oops. I feel like that the window just right here for the kitchen just does not fit in here. I really like the idea, and I feel like this is this is before we had cabinets in Bloxburg, so that could obviously change. The use of this fence, basic shapes weren't here, and usually people who just joined the game are using the starter house, and they don't have advanced placement. So we're not we're gonna we're gonna use things that relatively would be used for a person who is just joining Bloxburg. And using the starter home and the retro style TV, really nice. The TV, I uh, not the TV, the table. We're gonna keep this. Probably change it up a little bit. Who knows if there's like another um, budget style one. And then we have this couch. I really like this couch. I use this couch a lot in some places, and I always color it white with gray um, pillows. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna keep the. We're gonna keep this. Obviously, this is gonna stay. And the carpets. I don't really use this type of material on carpets because I feel like it's not that carpet vibe. So we're going to change that up and do it more of a carpet vibe. Um, relatively, it's relatively fine and really good. The use of bookshelves. And in the bathroom, we have, it, it's a nice bathroom. It's a nice bathroom. Obviously, it could change more decorations, obviously. Um, I feel like that these houses are just so plain. And now we're going to go into the bedroom. And the bedroom is pretty nice. The bedroom is pretty nice. The, the use of this in our, in our closet. I feel like that could change as well. With the dresser over here with some of the um, things. But yeah. and But yeah. I feel like that we can start going down here. So you have already seen the inside of this home. And now it's time to jump into a little bit of the speed building to get done with the um to get done with the decorating and then we'll come back and we'll go ahead and um tour the brand new home so we're gonna keep it on a budget so the budget right now it's like seven thousand dollars let's go for like you know like a twenty thousand dollar home if we can and if not let's cap it off at like ten thousand dollars depending on how much we spend we do not want the but we do not want the house to exceed 30k 25k or 24k so we're going to try to do a 20k or 10k home but under a but we're going to be under a budget we're not going to spend so much and color so much because coloring and spending so much is what causes the home to be um relatively big 
to be relatively high and stuff like that. So we're going to keep it like a starter home. So without further ado, let's get right into build mode and start renovating this home. <laughs>
Okay, so an hour later, the house is finally finished. I th think I relatively stayed in the budget zone. Nineteen thousand dollars only for a starter home. I think, I think, I think that's very budgetable. With um, cause like bills are probably gonna be like a thousand dollars or something like that. Not a lot of money. It's just, it's just like nineteen thousand dollars. Which is only like twelve thousand dollars more than the uh, the last home. So I spent about twelve thousand dollars on this home. So relatively speaking, depending on how much you get within Bloxburg, I feel like the, these bills should be, you know, relatively small. But you know, when you guys saw the speed build, or if you didn't see the speed build and you just skipped right to here, um, the house you probably would see some things different from the house that you didn't see before. Um, some things were changed because, you know, I kind of uh, cut some things out in the speed build so that it's not so time consuming. But it took me an hour to renovate this home because I was contemplating between what I wanted the house to look like, what other things I wanted the house to look like. And I think I really turned it into something very new, something brand new that creates the vibe of how the game looks like today. Um, and brings back some of those old building vibes that you had back in like 2016, 2017, 2018 before all those structural and basic shapes came into Bloxburg, which I kind of miss that style. But without further ado, this is what the house looks like. Um, I So on the outside, you can see it's a very different, it's more solid colors. I wanted to go for like a little bit of a solid color for those modern vibes. Um, you know, it just because I really like the modern style, and you know, the house can really depend on how much of the style that you like. Um, but I didn't really like the way that the outside was having it having like so much textures. Um, so I relatively put it down to a little bit of textures, and like the roof with the shingles, I really like those. Those look really nice and ties it together. And instead of like making it just like so modern, I wanted to bring that suburban vibe as well. So. The outline is a brick color, is bricks, to bring that little bit of a little bit, a little bit of an outline to bring it that suburban feel. So it's not so modern, or so. So, yeah, and it it looks really nice. Like the nature, I put some more plants around here. I think it looks really nice. And you know, when you join in Bloxburg, it's it's not so much for me if I were to join in Bloxburg with this house. It'll be like this, but over here, oh, look at, that's the old starter home. Let's, wait, let's use this for comparison. Let's use this for comparison. So the old starter home versus my new starter home. I think that looks, like, so good, like, because, like, over here, if you look over here, this person's house, this is the starter home that is currently in Bloxburg. And then you have my starter home, which is just down here. I feel like that it changes it so much. Like there's a lot of things that I changed, a lot of things that I kept in this house. So the floor plan was kept. I didn't destroy any walls or anything. But no, I I really like it. I really like it on the outside. It looks pretty nice with the new roofs instead of having it like that. Well, I feel like that like th that these roofs right here, they were cheaper. They were cheaper than the other home, or the other ones I think. And really, nineteen thousand dollars for a starter home. You can't complain for nineteen thousand dollars. Usually, people come in here and they build on this, build on it, and it gets so high and stuff like that. But let's just walk in. So the the door is recolored. So you walk in and you are greeted with this nice design. Um, relatively, it's the design that I usually use in most of my homes. The linen planked walls that was actually an accident in my mansion i really like it it really ties the room together and gives like accents which is really nice um with the black windows and all this in the kitchen the kitchen definitely had a little bit of an upgrade now you have your cabinets in here in and everything that was added in here you did your cabinets i didn't add a dishwasher because i didn't want the bills to be too high and you're just in a starter home and not every home is going to have a dishwasher so you have a nice sink right here obviously you need a sink for everything but i made sure that you had your basic necessities out on on point right now which is your microwave your um coffee machine and your blender um i, I forgot a toaster but that could be added um and stuff the living room did get a change so i did upgrade the tv a little bit so it is a you know, it, it is a $10 upgrade from the last TV, but I feel like that it just, you know, it's a starter home. Like, you know, I really like that old antenna TV. I feel like really regular starter home vibes and stuff like that. But I added a few plants for decoration around. 
just so that it, just so that the entire place is on the wind and on the outsides i put more um i put some more pictures and then a custom bookshelf not a custom bookshelf but a bookshelf with some books in it and a plant on the bottom just so that it doesn't just look so bland in here because you know you want it to be your home and, it, and i know it's a starter home so it's going to be bland but i feel like that this is more so like a budgeted home and like it uses the crown molding and like the trims and then the table i definitely i really I, I like the table i like the chairs and everything so i made the chairs less so dark and the table white just so that the table and chairs you can see some depth and like you know change instead of it being the same color because usually with my tables they're not the same color as the table just so that it gives it more of like a vibe and just so you can differentiate between them but yeah and then in the in here what were what with a dark gray counter not counter dark gray cabinets and like you know and stuff like that and then a marble countertop i really like the idea of a marble countertop so i added a marble countertop so and i really love mob marble countertops and i think i have that in my mansion if i don't then okay but i kept the icebox fridge in the speed build i did destroy this entire um kitchen just so that i could rebuild it and redecorate it and i feel like i feel like that this house with the with the floor plan already in it it really doesn't the floor plan doesn't really need changing it's just the outside and back in like 2016 this starter home the way that it used to look would have been good but now since Bloxburg has updated so much we see some brand new items in here but I see a lot of people taking it all away and just like you know not leaving it so much at, at a budget so I wanted to, I wanted to have up to twenty thousand dollars and we we were under my original budget where I wanted to only spend twenty thousand dollars or so on that well we got I didn't want to exceed twenty five thousand I didn't exceed twenty five thousand um and then I, and then I just spent like twelve thousand more dollars, which is you know relatively good, and stuff like that. And I I dropped a hundred thousand dollars. And so the doors, oh yeah, the doors in here I did change them because I wanted it to have like a different vibe. Oops, I don't want to sit down. So when the light is off, like if you relatively look at this when the light is off, it does look kind of like nice in here. So yeah, and like the doors in here think that this oh my god my computer likes doing this where it just walks me randomly i feel like that this looks pretty nice in here this is the new bedroom but we're gonna we're gonna do that later and it is snowing outside that's why i have that so much of a blue tint in here okay well this is and then in here is a new bedroom i really like it um the the entire thing stayed the same i just recolored the bed i kept that table with the lamp on it i added a plant and then that window that was here, that big window, I separated I separated it into two different windows. And then I went with like the standard window. That standard window. I, I it, it was, you know, it fit the vibe of the house. And, and you know, I feel like that was nice. Um, so yeah, this is this this is the kitchen. I really love the kitchen. I'm sorry, I just really love the kitchen. Whenever I decorate kitchens, I make it like super good so that I love the kitchens, so <laughs> But yeah, I, I really like the dining room and the living room. Now in the bathroom. I didn't really change much in the bathroom. All I did was recolor the walls. Um, I switched. So, okay. So this thing. So the toilet was here, right? This was over here. So you had to sit here. And then whenever you're done doing the toilet, you have your you, you have your toilet paper over here. The toilet paper, I it, it, it belongs right next to the toilet. Toilet, right? It, it, belongs right next to the toilet so I put that there and I wanted room for a plant so I moved this over here to have this so so I moved moved this over here so the sink in your thing is over here and I added, did add windows in here so you can like open and close the curtains if you like and I didn't okay so I didn't <laughs> edit this textures but you know every room should have this I forgot to add those they should have them in there and the i feel like that it doesn't really go with the room a little bit but yeah i think that's like pretty much the house and i feel like i forgot the shutter on one of the windows no i didn't okay but yeah then the back of the house we talked we, we checked the back of the house and it 
And like during this new build, I wanted to have like differentiating between wood, brick, and solid color. Like, you know what, the roof isn't working. <laughs> so you saw that. You saw that the roof wasn't working for me. And like <laughs> here we are. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that this is so I feel like that this is so beautiful and everything. Yeah, that's the that's the brand new starter home. Only nineteen thousand dollars. And I feel like that is really much into budget for a home. So yeah, you know, I, I would buy this house for about a thousand dollars. You know, a thousand dollars to buy this house would only be seven for it to be only nine thousand nineteen thousand dollars. Cause I feel like it is still it, it is still technically a starter home. It just adds in more of like the update items and stuff like that. You know, beautiful. Love it. <laughs> so yeah, that is me renovating the starter home. My attempt at re renovating the starter home to in budget under $25,000. We uh, we went under our budget and that was what we wanted to do. So I feel like we, we, we accomplished the challenge to renovate the starter home in Bloxburg. And you know, it might have not turned out perfect, but at least it doesn't look like it is from... A while because it is from a lot while ago but at least it looks you know what decent and stuff like that i really wanted to go for more of the nature outside because like more so on the front of the house and on the back side of the house i wanted to add like a little backyard but i didn't want to exceed more than twenty five thousand dollars and i add a little bit back of the backyard but you know those can be expanded on if you ever use this house let's say that this was the starter house in boxburg you could add a backyard on for yourself I feel like that, you know, now that we have that that manistered roof, I think that's what it is. Um, it gives more of a, like a shape to a house and lets people, oh, so this is what the shape of the house is. Because I see a lot of people just building big boxes around the starter home. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I, I used to do that too. And I remember the old starter home. And this one was definitely a upgrade from the old starter home. The one that was before this. Um, but really, this is really nice. Um, I really like doing this. I really enjoyed doing it. It took me about an hour, um, to do it. So yeah, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys haven't already liked this video and stuff like that, like, please do it. Um, but if you guys really enjoyed this, we're gonna be coming back with another video tomorrow. Hopefully, if I am not lazy to record. So thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.